Ain't never met a girl like you, no, no, baby. Hey guys, hey, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are subscribed, welcome back. If you're not, hopefully by the end of this video, that will change and you will decide to press that button down below. But guys, today is another hype video. You know why? Because we finished the 100 envelope challenge. <laughs> but I'm so excited, guys. Um, the 100 envelope challenge is a challenge where you take 100 envelopes, you number them one through 100, and every week you pick two to stuff. And by the end of the year, for 52 weeks in total, you will have $5,050 saved up for you to do with as you please. The goal is to put money aside, um, to be able to save money, have fun doing it, and to mostly put it towards debt if you have debt. If, you're, if you don't have debt, then you use it to put it towards something that you're saving up for, maybe a house, maybe a car, um, or maybe just a vacation. Um, but you use it for yourself and it's a goal that you have to put money and you have actual cash in hand that you see where it's going you see what you're doing with it and it prevents you from having to use like your credit card or anything and going somewhere that so for me i finished this 100 envelope challenge six months early because i started um about the last week of december and I finished the first week of June, so we still have, I'm technically not supposed to be done until the end of December, but I decided that I needed to finish it early because I needed more money to go towards my debt. I didn't want to stop doing the envelope challenge because at one point in time, I didn't think that I was going to be able to finish it, um, but I decided to take whatever extra money that I was going to put towards my credit cards and do that with the 100 envelope challenge. It really helped me to be disciplined. It helped me to stay focused. It helped me to keep the goal in mind. It helped me to keep, keep the goal in mind, and it also helped me to kind of finish it and have some fun while I did it. So this was a lot of fun for me um, because, you know, it's a challenge, it's like a game and you want to win and you want to finish it out and um, be successful in it. So that's why it motivated me to get it done. So instead of not being able to finish it at all, like I originally thought, I'm now able to finish it six months early because I put my mind to it. I got some extra money. I went to work. I did some extra shifts on my other job. So we got it done. Everything went towards debt or my other priority. So let's go ahead and first organize this money and then we'll count it up and see how much we have in total. So what I do with my 100 envelope challenge is I stuff my envelopes and then at the end of each month, I go ahead and take all that money out and I deposit it into a, a bank account that's separate from my primary account. Now for me, I don't have, um, for me, I don't have electronic banking set up for these two accounts, so I can't technically um, electronically transfer that money over, um, which is fine for me. It works for me because for that separate bank account, I don't want to touch it. I don't want to see it. only want to stack money into it, and that's it. I don't want to be using it as a backup or anything. I just want to save money for it, um, save money in it. So I take the cash that I saved towards the 100 envelope challenge, and then I go ahead and deposit that into the bank. Um, into my separate bank account. So I take the money from my primary account, which is where I get my paycheck, and then I take it, put it into my 100 envelope challenge, and at the end of each month, I go ahead and deposit that into my separate banking account. I hope that makes sense to you guys. And I do this again so that I don't see this money. I don't touch it out of sight, out of mind. Therefore, I'm not spending it. I'm not like, oh, well, I spent so much money on, you know, getting drinks with the girls and now I need groceries. So, hey, I can just, you know, take this little money from my 100 envelope challenge and pay for groceries. No, nope. Don't go out for drinks or get a budget for the drinks because I don't want to give myself that leeway. I already know my strengths and weaknesses and, you know, Seeing a bunch of money in my account and not touching it is not one of my strengths. I'm going to tell you that right now. So that's what I do. So now I did go and withdraw all of that money that I was saving up into my separate, my other separate account. I did go and withdraw that money. This is that money as well. And then also the cash that I had from the last 
from the last stuffing that I did from the last video. If you haven't already, you can go ahead and check that out after this one. But this is all the money that I took out from the bank and then that I had in um, for my, cash, my lash cast stuffing. So now I am going to, once I, you know, count up all this money, get it ready, I'm going to deposit it back into my primary account and then I'm going to pay off. I am, let me, let me say that for the people in the back, okay? I am going to pay off one of my credit cards and then the rest of this money is going to go towards um my set my last credit card that i have to pay so i have two more credit cards to pay off um i can't remember how many credit cards i have it's not that many it's probably like four or five but i can't remember completely but i have um all of my credit cards are paid off except for the final two so those two credit cards, um, I'm still working on. So one of them, when I deposit this money into the bank, one of them will be paid off. That is my city card. And then the last one I have to pay off is my discover. So my, my goal, I don't, unfortunately I don't have an emergency fund. And for me, I'm, it's, I'm a little deterred from having an emergency fund. It's a little barrier for me because I feel like for, you're supposed to have maybe like three to six months um, set aside for your emergency fund, right? Three to six months of your expenses or your major expenses. For me, that would be like $9,000. So I'm like, I gotta need to save $9,000 in cash, but I got all this debt. So I wanna pay off a lot of my debt first and then I'll move towards an emergency fund. All right, so we got this organized. Let's go ahead and set this up. So like I said, guys, this was a huge sacrifice. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to cry. Sorry, no. <laughs> but I'm very, 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 very proud of myself. Again, I said this in one of my videos. Um, I, I've saved this much before. I've saved $5,000 in my savings account, but I've had to spend it. I'm always like saving and spending, saving and spending. Um, but I'm glad I'm at the point now where I can actually just save it and put it towards the intended, um, you know, destination, which is debt and pay that down. So I'm very, very happy about that. Very proud about that. If you guys haven't noticed, we do have a little change on our channel. We changed our, um, we changed our, we changed our YouTube name. It's now Mel's Budget Life. I hope you guys like the new name. Um, I just wanted something to encompass what I'm actually doing on my channel. We're not really talking about wedding things, wedding team. That was the original goal of my channel when I started it, but I decided to kind of keep it separate and um, leave like my wedding topics to my blog. So I do have a wedding blog if you're interested. Um, I talk about my experiences. There's a lot of wedding blogs out there to kind of tell you how to plan your wedding, but there's not a lot of wedding blogs that I've seen that actually tell you about like someone's experience planning their own wedding. And that's what my blog is about. It's about my experience with a little bit of like, you know, helpful tips, things you should, you know, keep in mind, common things that could happen. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Oh, look at all this money and so much money. She got money. I got money and I'm gonna pay it towards that. <laughs> all right, almost done setting this up. I'm so excited. So comment down below guys, what are some savings challenges you're doing? Um, for me, I'm doing the 100 envelope challenge or, no, I'm not, I'm finished. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But um, for me, I did the 100 envelope challenge. I'm also doing the ones and fives challenge as, um, you know, which is a common challenge. A lot of people are doing it. And then I'm doing the coin challenge as well. I don't really show you guys the coin challenge because, you know, 
it's not it's you know it's, it's i feel like if I, with me doing it i know some people show theirs but i feel like if i did it it would be boring so my coin challenge will be boring i'll probably show you guys at the end of the year but i'm not gonna like do updates on it um and what else am i doing um i'm doing the rewards challenge and the rewards challenge is um every all the money that you earn from like your cashback rewards from a credit card or from um different companies like Rakuten I save those rewards and I cash them out and put them in my um cash my reward sorry I cash them out and put them into my rewards challenge envelope and I just want to do it to see how much I actually earn in rewards and see how much I can save. Um, typically, what I was doing before, every time I got like $25, $50 back in cashback rewards or in Rackers Hand, I would just spend it on more consumer items. And I never really saw the benefit of it. I was just buying more things. Um, so I was like, hey, I saw this... Um, suggestion from all that up by Sanai and she was going to start the challenge and I was like I think I'm going to do it as well um and so far I saved up over $200 and I have used that money already for a much much needed self-care slash pamper slash mental health day <laughs> and I'm I don't feel bad about it at all like if I hadn't saved that money up I wouldn't have had money to go get a massage go into the sauna, treat myself to chocolate covered strawberries. Like I did all that stuff. I treated myself like a queen with money that I just earned from spending money that I was gonna spend anyway. And it doesn't make sense to just not use a credit card. If you don't have, if you don't have like, um, if you don't have self-control with using a credit card, then yes, it does make sense to not use a credit card. But if you have self-control with it, you, I think it does not make sense to not use it because that's money you're already going to spend anyway and then they're going to give you percentage of money back just for using your credit card yes they do it because they know that some people don't have self-control and that's how they get them that's how they got me a lot of times for a lot of years but they're not going to get me no more they're not going to get me again I'm going to tell you that right now but that's neither here nor there let's count up this money all right guys i'm gonna need my calculator for this one um but i do want to first say like don't be discouraged if you cannot save five thousand dollars in a year i completely understand do not be discouraged and do not let that discourage you from saving something like the next challenge that i do in august is going to be two thousand dollars like if you can't save five thousand save a thousand save two thousand save five hundred save something something is way better than saving nothing if you can save way more than 5000 then power to you, okay? Go ahead and double up the challenge and save 10000 I know some people are doing that. Some people are challenging themselves even further than an actual um, 100 envelope challenge. So use it to your advantage. Do not feel like you have to follow what other people are doing. Use it to your advantage and focus on your budget and what works best for you. So let's go ahead and see what we have. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1,000 dollars. And we got 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 2,000. 2,000 dollars. Go ahead and put that there. And we got 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 50, 700, 50, 800, 50, 900, 50, 1,000. So that's $3,000. We got 50, 100, 50, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500. Let's put this 50 to the side. You already know that. What did I say? 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500. Oh my gosh, guys. My husband like always jokes about me. He's like, all you do on your videos is say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100. And so I just did 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <laughs> but 
Anyway, 500. All right, so we have 500 or 4,500, so let's say 500. All right. 50, 70, 90, 100, 50, oh, 10, 20, 30, 40, wait, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. So that's another 500. Oh! We hit 5,000. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 8, 49, 50. Oh, we already hit our 5,050 goal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. Y'all. <laughs> so... Drum roll, please. For the 100 envelope challenge, we have saved a whopping $5,078. Woo! All right, so, so I'm so excited. As you can tell, we saved $5,078 for the 100 envelope challenge. And not only that, I finished it six months early. I really, really pushed myself. I denied myself some things. I didn't go shopping like I usually do. Not so many Amazon packages have been showing up. If they have been, it's been for um, supplies for the cash envelopes that I sell. That's about it. But I am so excited. Now I'm going to put this money in my bank account and I am going to make a large um, debt payment. I'm going to pay off my city card. Um, my city card is around 3300 right now. And then I'm going to put the rest towards my Discover card. It's not going to pay off my Discover card, unfortunately, but by the end of August, it will be paid off. I am declaring it. I am saying it. It will be paid off. Period. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, the next challenge that I'm going to do, I'm not going to stop here. I'm going to do another challenge. It's a 20 weeks. Um, it's a 26 week savings challenge in that I will be saving around $2,021 in 2021. Okay. Um, <laughs> But I plan to finish that one by December. So we're going to start around August sometime and finish it by December. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you have not subscribed by now, what are you waiting for? We are attacking debt over here. We are not playing with this debt. We're getting our money. We're saving our money. And we are paying down debt and living our best lives. So go ahead, press that subscribe button for me. It really helps out my channel and I really appreciate it. But thank you guys so, so much again 
Bye.